Hello, welcome back. Just doing a little video here, just to um, do a little another another update. Um, haven't done an update for a little while, so uh, I thought I'd do one. Um, I'm in the middle of filming this one. I'm doing a this for Hater 56. Uh, doing a clutch on it. I've got to do a service on it, if you can see. Um, you'll see that when the film comes out. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing a clutch. I did this clutch the last clutch in. Uh, September, um, just waiting for a couple of blade bolts now for to come and then I can put it all back together uh, and we put a new clutch on that so that's a video to to come. Um, what else are we working on? What else we got in? Oh, let's have a look. Right, this turned up Sunday morning. This hater hater it. Um, it's quite funny because I've been up all night watching the eight hour bike race. And uh, then I just turned up, and I wasn't really with it when it went. I've got to be honest with you. I've been awake for about two days at that that, that point, you know. Um, so anyway, um, you reckon it wouldn't wouldn't run? It'd run for like half a minute and then conk out. Uh, I did do a little video of this running when I got it. I got it round round here, and I got it running. Um, and I don't know if that's probably on by now. Probably, you've probably seen that, but um, yeah, so I'll have a look at that. I'm gonna service it up, it has got a lot of oil in it, um, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna give it a service and put new blades on it. It's a big disc, didn't know, with four blades on it. Um, but I'm gonna film all that because I've got this machine for. Uh, a little while because the boat's going away, so I've got this for a little while. Um, so there's no rush, and we'll make it as a little bit of a, a project, I suppose, servicing it up and that, changing the blades. Um, but I think that's probably about all I've got to mention on that for now. It's not quite good, isn't it? It's just that I noticed that the suspension wheel bits are uh, a bit knackered, especially that side. Oh, and when I looked at the parts, that was the only part I couldn't actually get. They don't, they don't make anymore. But you can buy the deck still for them, and that's quite, quite good. Anyway, we're going to that more when we do that. We work on that. Right, let's see what else I've got in here. Yeah, and I've had this sovereign um, head um, strimmer turn up. Um, the head was knackered on it, so um, I've just swapped it with an old head we had. Old spare one, a um, bit rattly. The head's a bit rattly on it, but um, means you can use it, I suppose. Um, so hopefully I'll get rid of that tonight. Um, that's not bad. Got a lot of mess in here again, as you might notice. Um, me and the other shed's roof's gone, so I've had to pull everything in. It's always a mess in here anyway, but it's even worse now. So uh, everything's in a bleeding way. Right. So what else we got? Right, I've got this uh, steel strim um, I've got to call it a strimmer for a minute. It's still still um, disc cutter in. On my last update video, this came in. Um, I was saying about it, the exhaust had fell off of it and um, all kinds of things. But it's got real bad scored up. Um, the the bore and that's really badly sort of scored and scratched about. And um, he phoned up and said, I think it's, it's, it's time, you know, it's, it's had it. Um, but it's still got plenty of compression. And like I said to him, we'll, we'll run it as long as we can. But what the top trouble is this time, is the uh, the coil is packed up on it. It's doing the usual still thing with a coil, where it'll sit there, turn around, turn over, sit ticking over, lovely. And, um, yeah, you will get a hell of a belt off it, because I did. Uh, <laughs> but it's just under revs, when it's under load, the um, limiter, the rev limiter comes in and um, it um, knocks the spark off. So, I mean, you can see on a spark test, it shows up really, really well. Um, so, yeah, so that's a new coil on it. But it's funny, when I did my last update video, that was in here as, as well. Um, the last time I bought a coil for one of these, didn't come with a lead, you screw them in yourself. 
Um, but I'm hoping to get one with a lead this time, or we'll, we'll get another lead. Um, yeah, come like that, and then you screw the lead in. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's just funny that I have to be doing another update video, and that happens to be back in here. Um, but the call will be here by tomorrow morning. Oh, I'll order it in time this afternoon. Not can get it in tomorrow. Tomorrow and get rid of it. Um, because he does need it. Um, but I think what I will do is I'll order the ball kit for it, so that when it does finally give up the ghost, I can just fit it. I ain't got to mess around waiting around. Um, yeah, because I think we're only going to fit a Chinese kit to it, and we're not going to fit a, a steel one. It's just not worth. Uh, that's just not worth it. Right, what else is happening? Right, the Flymo project, that's just how we left it, apart from myself in the lift. Um, yeah, I ain't had a chance to do that lately because uh, the other bits have come in, but I will try to get the tank and that off of it. Um, sort of end of the week type sort of thing, or next week or the weekend. Um, get that going because I'd, like I'd like to knock it out quite quick, to be honest with you. Um, not too sure what I'm going to do with it. But uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll serve as a carb and obviously we've got to clean the tank out. I wonder if I'll just get in there. Just don't suppose you don't suppose you, you sort of might get a rough idea what how bad that is. That way you can see it. So uh, yeah, um, yeah. So that's still ongoing. So we all still got all the old um, projects. What I've Half done, but obviously these are other things like that have come in, and they're more important. Um, yeah, so we're, we're getting there slowly. Just uh, that's it. Sit down. That's lovely. <laughs> right. Let's see uh, what else we've got in here. Now, I'll still case um, swimmer is four stroke steel swimmer. Um, it's all up and running now, just needs an oil change. Uh, and then he's going to flog it, get rid of it. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to be selling it or he's going to sell it. My other brother's interested in it. Um, but I think he don't want to, I don't know if he, he wants to be like me to be the middleman or something. I'm not too sure there what's happening there. But yeah, I mean. But that's, that, that runs and that. It's got a bit of a noisy head, but we've really greased it and that's just got the bush blade on it. Um, but I mean, it is quite old and it's done a fair bit of work. But I mean, even wise, lovely. It sounds like, it sounds like an old um, Honda CG125 motorbike. So I quite like the sound of it. Um, but yeah, so we've still got that. The, uh, like I said, everything's been shoved back in here because of the shed so I've got that running that little um, orange head trimmer that's all up and running now just waiting for a spring uh, an engine mount spring off so I'm waiting for I've got one here I've just got to fit it um, I haven't had a chance to look at this one yet but I say the other update that's still there um, but yeah Bob's still yet to pick his one up um, but I know about what's happening there so that's fine um, what else we've got? Let's have a look. Right, the Hater 56 engine there is the one I've done the PTO shaft back in April. <laughs> um, but the bloke took, off the, took the deck off to have it welded. And I've been told it's done and I'm waiting for that to come back. Um, so that's been sitting there well, a few months now. Um, yeah, April that was done. I didn't realise how long it had been sitting there. Um, as you can see, it's just, if it sits there long enough, everything grows on top of it. So, uh, yeah. We've got a few other things in and out, but let's uh, have a look see what else we've got. A lot of people who watch my videos would have noticed there's been a black and yellow mower on the end of my bench, where the, where the fly mower is now. It's been there ever since I've been on YouTube, so... I'm sure somebody must have noticed it. Um, if you're if you like me and you're a bit trunky and a bit nosy, 
and uh, <laughs> you start looking for things in the background um, you don't notice it but the reason it was on there is because when I started I was going to do a video of me getting ready for the winter and <laughs> I never got round to it and then I thought well I'll do a video I'll leave it on there and I'll do a video of me um, getting it ready for the start of the cutting season and I never got round to it and it won't cause, because what happens is because I have normal mowers all the time I don't use it and he's like I say it's my own, my own mower so I don't use it and uh, but the other day, I thought, oh, I need to cut my grass, and I hadn't actually got a mower here that run. So, I chucked some petrol on it, uh, second pull. I've got a very short cord on it as well, but I think if I had a longer cord, it would have actually started on the first go. Um, but it started second pull when I've cut the grass, so it's not actually on the lift anymore. Um, it's in the other shed. But, uh, yeah, I'll, get, I will put a little, show you a little bit of video of it so you can recognise it. But, yeah, and I've, I've just, it's always... I've always wondered why nobody's ever commented and said, why is that mower always on the lift? <laughs> you know, I've been on it, I've been on it since, um, I think November. And the lift, and that's, that's been there all the time. So, <laughs> just in case you wondered why it was there, that's why it was there. Just thought I'd show you the new clutch we're going to be fitting on this, this hater. Um, so I'm not going to have detail now about it because I'm doing the video on it. So I uh, just want to show you, so you can see what I'm on about. So that's what I'm going to be fitting. Um, yeah, let's put it back over there. Yeah, so, so I've got that video coming up. I've got a few, quite a few videos sort of in in stages. What I'm, I'm sort of. I want to finish off this. I was, I did, was going to do this in two parts. This, this hater one, the clutch, and uh, I thought about it. And I thought, nah, there's nothing worse than watching it in two parts. So I'm going to make that a one piece thing now. So I'm waiting, like, so I'm waiting for two, two bolts, the usual stuff from hater. Right, you can tell we had a few bits coming this week. Um, we had quite a few little five minute jobs, and we're only at the beginning of the week, well, middle of the week. Um, but me and Louis had planned on um, doing the projects this week because it was a bit quiet last week. Um, but obviously we, we're not getting around. You know, we're not getting around to them yet. Um, mind you, it might give us something to do in the winter. Um, you'll believe I've tried to do this bit of film around about 15 times, and I've paused up on every one, every bit of it so far. Maybe I would just keep well, instead of deleting these bits, I would keep them and do a big balls up thing at the end of the year I don't, <laughs> I don't know I don't know and the best of it is I've done, I've done this bit really really good a minute ago and then I realised I wasn't even recording it so <laughs> oh what a balls up but anyway like I say it's only a little quick update um, I'm going to have a quick look see what else I've got in here you might be interested in uh, if you're interested in any of it <laughs> right let's have a quick look oh just had another phone call and blue or not it's another throttle cable on us another steel um it's a long reach one i think he's coming this time he's got the cable already apparently um so he's gonna be about a past six tonight I'll drop it off um just drop it off tonight we'll do the cable tonight and um it pick up again in the morning all the way through um, I do get a lot of these for well, only a couple of people I do it for to be honest with you. Um, I'll, I'll um, work late, you know. Uh, I'll, I'm quite happy to come out for certain people. I'm quite happy to come out here like nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night and, and do some bits. Um, as long as I ain't got to make a noise, you know. Uh, I'm quite happy to do it. It helps them out. Looks good on me, you know usual sort of stuff. Right, so I'll wait till he gets in, I might as well show you show it. So I'll, I'll add that to the film, next bit of film. Well, that's turned up, it's about five past eight, ten past eight, something like that. Uh, a bit later than what he thought, but um, what he said. But give me a chance to have something to eat, so it's fine. You can see the cables, the front cables sticking out the back here. He's bought me a 
some cables. Um, I don't know if they're the right ones, they're different to the ones I did the other day. Um, but I haven't even had a look yet. I've just stuck it, <laughs> stuck it in here. Um, yeah, it stinks of petrol as well, this one. I'll have to look into that a bit more. Um, doing it tonight because he wants it sort of first thing tomorrow morning so uh, you know I mean the thing to do is when, when people do do this you know even if it's like a five minute job you make sure you're going to do make something out of it because they will take the piss you know um, that's why I do it for certain people because I know what you know I know they treat me all right afterwards and I'm not being funny, these blokes got me so much work, you know, so, like I so most of the stuff I pick up is word, you know, word by mouth, sort of thing, you know, people telling people and stuff, so, um, yeah, so, it's, if somebody does you a phone, you've got to do them one back, haven't you? Alright, I'm going to get on with this, so, um, thanks for watching, like I so say, it's only a little update, there's not really a lot of information given in it or nothing like that, just um, a little update what I'm up to. Alright, see you next time. Bye for now.